For this video, the only thing you need is to already have Docker installed and running on your machine. I'm going to provide you with all of the source code and explain it to you as we go along. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to run Prometheus and Grafana inside of a Docker Compose environment. We're going to use these technologies in order to monitor a containerized Flask application that's exposing different types of metrics at a particular endpoint. So these could be counter metrics, gauge metrics, histogram metrics. Essentially, what we have is an application that's been instrumented to expose metrics in a format that Prometheus can understand. And so what we're going to do is orchestrate our Docker Compose environment in such a way where Prometheus is configured to pull, to scrape these metrics in 15 second intervals. So once we ensure that this data, this application's metric data is always being saved inside of the Prometheus database and regularly being kept up to date every 15 or 20 seconds, then we can use Grafana to query all of the metric data inside of Prometheus and based on these queries, create insightful visualizations that give us a clear picture of how the application is performing in real time. All right, so I pushed all of the configuration files you're gonna need inside of the following uh, GitHub repo. I left you a link in the video description that you can use to access this repo. Click on the link once you're there, grab uh, the URL that we can use to clone this repository inside one of the folders in our local machine. It doesn't really matter, but just make sure you know where this repository is being cloned. That way you can launch it inside of the an editor of your choosing. I'm gonna be using Visual Studio Code. Spin up a new terminal that points directly to my project where I can simply run Docker Compose up. So what that's gonna do is spin up a Docker Compose environment that creates a container called Fast API App out of a Fast API image. So I lied, we're not gonna be running a Flask app that exposes metrics. We're gonna be exposing a Fast API app that exposes metrics, but doesn't really matter. They all expose metrics in a way that Prometheus can understand. We're gonna be creating a Prometheus container from the Prometheus image and a Grafana container from the Grafana image as well. Okay, now this fast API app, I programmed it to expose metric metrics at the path slash metrics. All right, and it runs on the port 8000. So this Prometheus instance, what it needs to do is try to discover this fast API application running on port 8000 and scrape its metrics at the path slash metrics, okay? How are we gonna configure Prometheus to discover this endpoint and regularly pull metric data from it? Well, this is where the volumes field comes into play because volumes, what it allows you to do is grab a file from your local machine and load it into your container. So we're gonna be loading the prometheus.yaml file into the Prometheus container because it contains the configuration that Prometheus is going to use in order to determine which app it needs to scrape metric data from. In this case, it's gonna find the fast API app container, connect to it at port 8000, all right, and then it's gonna look at, at its path slash metrics and scrape all of the data from it. All right, and it's gonna do that every 15 seconds. So what is the data gonna look like that Prometheus will scrape? Let's just go ahead right now and go to localhost 8000, all right? So us from our local machine, we can access the fast API app at localhost 8000, but Prometheus, because it's running within the same Docker Compose network, it's gonna access this app using the container name port 8000 slash metrics, okay? So if I go to localhost 8000 slash metrics from my end, I'm gonna see all the metrics that our fast API app is exposing. So here we see a histogram metric where the HTTP request duration can be split into different buckets. Uh, do we see a counter metric anywhere? 
Here we see a counter metric, the total HTTP requests. Do we see a gauge metric anywhere being exposed by this app? Uh, here we see a virtual memory bytes metric that is a gauge metric as well. Okay, pretty, pretty cool stuff. So I instrumented this fast API application using the instructions that you can find inside of this article that is inside of the video description. So if you're curious about how different types of apps can be instrumented to provide metrics, make sure to check out the articles, okay? We don't necessarily care about that because right now, Prometheus is configured to scrape these metrics every 15 seconds. How are we going to determine that? Well, let's access our Prometheus instance from our local machine using localhost 9090. Let me do that over here. Localhost 9090. There's Prometheus. All right. Is it pulling this data? Let's make sure. What we can do as a very simple query is copy one of these metrics directly into our PromQL editor, press execute, and the fact that we get results means we are golden. It's saving all of this data inside of its database. Let's try this one as well. That one is being saved as well. It is simply zero. An another way to verify is to go to status, go to targets, and you can see that the fast API app at port 8000 slash metrics, this app over here, is indeed a target that's being discovered by our Prometheus instance. All right. And so now we've got all of this data inside of Prometheus. Uh, how can we get Grafana to query the Prometheus data source and create insightful visualizations from these queries? So here we have Grafana set up and in it, we're giving it an environment variable that essentially determines what the password to access the Grafana console will be. So by default, the username is admin. We're making the password admin here as well. So let's go to localhost 3000, okay, to access Grafana. We can log in with the email admin, password admin, you can ignore these because uh, I was playing around with it earlier. Uh, we don't want to give it a new password. Just skip. No, thanks. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Click on settings, data sources. We want to add a data source from which Grafana can query data from we have a Prometheus data source that's running inside of the same network as Grafana. So we can safely say, look for a Prometheus data source, okay. And because Grafana and Prometheus are running inside of the same Docker Compose environment, it is able to access Prometheus using the container name followed by the port. So Prometheus 9090, while we would access it using localhost 9090, the container inside of the same Docker Compose network would rely on the container name followed by the port. Let me just make sure I got the name right. Prometheus 9090. Oh, don't forget your HTTP. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Save and test. Data source is working. We're able to perform PromQL queries against Prometheus. So we're not actually going to go through uh, the queries ourselves because PromQL is in the last lesson of this series. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on it. But what I have is a Grafana dashboard already set up over here that already contains all of the PromQL queries in it. So we can import this dashboard, load it in, import, and there you go. It's actively querying the data inside of our Prometheus database and allows us to visualize the request rate, the average response time, the memory usage, and the CPU usage of our fast API application. And all right, if you enjoy my teaching style, don't forget to check out my Kubernetes bootcamp. Link is inside the description and I will see you inside.